In this presentation, we'll show you how to make an ACPR measurement in VSS. Through the process of making the measurement, we'll also highlight coast simulation with microwave office and dynamic tuning of parameters. Adjacent channel power ratio is a critical measurement, particularly for power amplifier and amplifier subassembly manufacturers. ACPR is defined as the ratio of power in a bandwidth at an offset from the main signal, the distortion product, to power in a bandwidth within the main signal. Bandwidth and offsets are specific to communication standards. Although in this example, we're talking about about adjacent channel power ratio, the same method applies to adjacent channel leakage ratio. It is the setting of the bandwidth and offset that defines the measurement. So with that said, let's go into the AWR design environment and make an ACPR measurement. The first thing we have to do is introduce a system diagram to the environment. We'll go here and select a, uh, a QPSK source, set its parameters as such, a symbol rate of 200 kilohertz, a center frequency of 800 megahertz, and an oversampling ratio of 8. We'll place a test point on the system diagram. It is from this test point that we'll monitor the spectrum as well as the ACPR measurement. The first measurement we'll add is a spectrum measurement. Power spectrum off of test point one, click DBM. We'll leave everything at auto settings. For more information on auto settings, please refer to the online measurement help. We'll add an ACPR table. And to this table, we'll add the corresponding measurement. The ACPR measurement is found in their system, Network Analyzer, ACPR. Our center frequency of interest is 800 megahertz. We'll use a bandwidth of 200 kilohertz for the channel bandwidth. For the offset from center frequency, we'll select 250 kilohertz. And for the adjacent channel bandwidth, we'll set that to 30 kilohertz. We'll run the simulation. We can take note of the spectrum as well as the ACPR measurement, which is the second column here. And the ACPR measurement is approximately minus 81 dB. The next thing we want to do is introduce the uh, amplifier into the design. So we'll go to the project tree and import a schematic. The supporting subcircuits come along with the main schematic. To place the schematic into the system diagram, I'll go here to the elements tree, scroll further down, and select subcircuits. And I know I want a nonlinear simulation based model. That will reference my schematic, LDMOS power amplifier. I'll place it into the system diagram. And VSS will automatically recognize that it's dependent on a harmonic balance simulation of that design. So I can simply start the system and the resulting spectrum is displayed. So evidently we're not driving that amplifier into compression. And we can see that the corresponding ACPR measurement is minus 81 dB. 
Now, as the simulation is running, I can tune on parameters of choice. So at this point, let's just tune on the gate voltage of our device, and let's introduce another tunable parameter. We'll go to the QPSK source, select average power, which is currently set at a nominal zero dBm, and make it tunable. And here we'll say that the maximum average power that we can tune to will be 15 dBm. So as I increase the signal's average power, I can see spectral regrowth occur, and we can see a degradation in ACPR. Now as I tune on the gate voltage, we can see a corresponding change in ACPR as well as the spectrum. And a complete degradation of ACPR. So thank you for watching this presentation, VSS. If you have further questions about VSS, you can go to the Help Getting Started Guide. In addition, you can go to File, Open Examples, and look at more ACPR measurements, inclusive of sweeping power and measuring ACPR versus output power.